live from the K7 AGE YouTube studios in Grass Valley, California. A little bit of Hellschreiber demonstration. CQ contest. Hi, Randy here, K7 AGE, playing around with Hellschreiber today. What the hell is Hellschreiber? It's a mode developed back in the 20s by Rudolf Hell, back in Germany, I believe. It was a uh, developed as an alternative to tall type machines, which are big, very complex, lots of moving parts. Now we're talking about 20s here when we talk about large and small, not iPod and uh, MP3 player and digital camera size equipment of uh, today. The mode printed on a strip of paper so the receiving end would have uh, a large uh, spool of paper on it. The transmitting end kind of looks like a teletype and has a, has a keyboard and as you press a key it would send out a pattern that would represent the letter. And then the interface to the radio is very, basically very simple. It just turned the transmitter on and off with a carrier. So a dark pixel or dark print would be a signal and no signal would be a light print and that's what you'll see on the screen here. The receiving end was very simple. It had a little corkscrew looking print wheel that had a solenoid that would pound it up and down against the paper. So the transmitting end would send out this sequence of, of dots. The receiving end would just bang this print head up and down against the paper. The sending end would send the text out as two rows. And this was done so that if the motors were not synchronized, which they weren't, which also made it simpler than teletype machines, you would get this slanting effect. But having two rows of text, you can always read, read the text. It's not being split. And you'll see that on the screen. This becomes obvious when you see how it works. So there's a house Schreiber contest on this weekend. Um, that means there's activity, otherwise you can wait in a long time or call CQ quite a while before you get an answer with hell. So what the hell, let's go take a look. IZ8BLY, Italy Zulu 8, Bravo Lima Yankee, and Nino's um, Hellschreiber program. There's several things happening on the screen here. One, you can see the station calling CQ. Over here is the spectrum of what the receiver is hearing. So you tune it by just clicking here so that the red line is centered and the bluish green lines are even with the data there tune on this lower station here. Of course during a demo they all stop. And to tune it you just click around here and it moves this red line. See it's up here now. I'll click it back down here where the signal is. And then it starts decoding. You'll see it come across here. So tuning is just by clicking or you can tune your receiver which would then move signals up and down through the spectrum display area. down here across the bottom are macro keys that you can just do a right click and be able to enter text. Here I have it saying dollar other dollar other DE dollar QRZ dollar QRZ that means his call his call DE my call my call is in that macro. Up across the top here is some uh, fields for the logging program. And up here at the very top, just push buttons for setups and setting audio levels and, and such. So here's a station, WG4FET, calling CQ. So I'm going to put KG4FET up here into the QRZ. See if he says CQ again here. I'm going to send out my call. My call is in here. I'm going to send out my call twice. Uh, 
Uh, let's see what this signal up here is. He's nice and strong. Let's hope he sent CQ. I'm going to put him in the log here, or into the KZ1Z. And I'm going to send my call. I'll send it again. <laughs> it's my friend Grover here in Grass Valley. Also calling him. New mail. And he answered Grover. Okay. I called up Grover a little while ago and told him to get on the air. And what he's sending here is a signal report 599, 599, and then his field hell club number 008 from that website. And there's Grover answering him. Grover's only to be seven TPs, only a couple miles or about five miles away from me. And his field held number is 700. The dashes mean that he's a little slow on the keyboard. So it sends that out. Now you can see the, the sloping going on. That's the difference in the clock frequencies between his computer and mine, which is one of the reasons that it sends out the print twice, so no matter where it is in the display, you can always read it. So here he's coming back to Grover, he says thanks, good luck, D-E-S-K, I should say Q-R-Z, let me send my call out here a couple, a couple times, see if I can get him. Grover calling me. I can work him. K7TP. Him in the uh, window here. Copy. This is you exchange. K7TP 599. My field hell number is 709. You will be on YouTube. How's that? And why isn't it stopping transmitting? This is rare DX, right? <laughs> and fun, fun too. Okay, another one. K E five A Q D. Five five nine nine. These oh four two. Yeah, I guess it's not my exchange. It's in the macro here. Five nine nine. My field number is seven oh nine.
right. V2HTL, okay. Seven oh seven correctly? Oh there it is, nice and clean. No problem. You can hear the uh, I don't know what that is, packet or something up there. This time. Good luck in the contest. DK78. 